<clears throat> well, uh, where will we? Uh, yes, I, I was talking about how how would the driver know that it's done reading the bytes or not. So six, so a third byte plus two byte means this value plus da, 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 how many bytes? Two to four more bytes. So just by looking at the third byte, you can know, I mean, how many bytes you're ex actually expecting. And you can back calculate also, like you ask for, say, n memory locations here. So this will be 2n. Ah, this is 3, right? So this is 6. So 16 byte registers, you know, 2 bytes. So 2n, if you ask for n bytes, this is 2n. And these are fixed. How many? Uh, 2 to 4 plus 1, 5. So these are 2n plus 5 more. So if you are asking for n bytes of data, that if you were asking for n bytes of data, you will get n plus 5 bytes of data as a response. And then you come to know and that really confirms that aha okay uh, you know reading of response is done so that's that's some thing or or there could be third situation yeah one was exception second was that everything went fine you ask us for ask for uh, n memory locations and in response you got 2n plus 5 means you knew that yeah everything has gone right third case is that you've got a bad communication yeah in that case, in that case, uh, a serial port will time out. Yeah, so we'll come to know. So, well, this is how uh, you want. Uh, this is this these numbers. First two bytes locations are equal. This is the count. So six means actually these are the six data, six data and double byte data, and then you have this this as your CRC, and now you calculate CRC over entire of this not by plugging zero I mean that, that's a <laughs> this this again sometimes would drive you crazy I mean last time you calculated data by plugging zeros rise this time you don't have to do that you just take this number apply CRC 16 over it and calculate and see the higher byte is 49 hex or not and lower byte is uh, AD I mean in, in, in hexadecimal or not once it's done means you know that there was no corruption of data over the wires these values are correct and then you really start to interpret actually the idea was to get the values right value of the memory locations so this is the memory location of the first memory address that address that you gave and so this is this this value actually corresponds to this number memory number and 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 this value is is i guess this is high byte and this is lower byte let me check yeah this is higher byte and this is lower byte. So this is this is 140108. And the first byte that you get, 02, is the higher byte. And the so and, and, and so the second you know the next or adjacent next index number that you get is is your uh, is your uh, lower byte. So memory number 40108 has a value of ae41 in hex and this ae is the higher byte and a441 is the low, lower byte and then then there's one information that will help you that what kind of data was that which you were trying to read if you were reading an integer then you will convert these this high byte low byte into an integer if, the, if these four bytes were uh, were uh, say some decimal number this will convert it to a decimal value and if you think that it these four bytes were something else then then you know this is this is again uh, you have to do correct conversion yeah so so this is the value uh, so this is uh, and this is better I think so this is a higher byte of 40108, 02, and then 02B, and then 40109. This is a 16-bit 
uh, memory address so higher byte is this one and lower byte is this one so and this is this value so memory number 40110 has 0 at its higher byte and uh, it has 64 in hex at its lower byte so you got to be doing conversion of that you know in 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 human readable form i mean hex and binaries are only read by machine and understood by machine and and the whole purpose of this driver is that you got to be you know uh, you got to be converting these values you know, into equivalent to their decimal counterpart or converting it into what uh, sometimes uh, float values sometimes uh, could be decimal floats or binaries and 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 there's one thing I wanted to mention here is that <clears throat> Floats are IEEE 754 inside all the system I have ever seen or known. So if if your PLC, if you have done a data type of uh, floats in your PLC, uh, then actually floats are meant, uh, made out of four bytes. So you'll you'll get you know these two bytes put together will make your one float, just like that. And then you got to you know know how to convert your uh, four bytes as as uh, uh, four bytes in in your float number so you got to be knowing IEEE 754 which is the standard international standard for floats floating points that I will I will discuss in some later video some other time and and yeah there's one thing I wanted to mention Modbus is a, a big Indian in nature that means that what does it mean ooh, ooh, ooh. It means that modbus registers are high address byte first. Uh, well, for the moment, let's not. If you are not something very, somebody very much in depth in electronics, just know that Intel CPUs are little Indian, and it's not I N D A N. Yeah, it's E N D A N. It's Indian. So this is the, this is where data's you know bytes are stored inside uh, inside. Uh, Memory locations. So Modbus adds as Modbus devices are big Indian, uh, but usually the PC I have is Intel based and it's little Indian. And if you got a Motorola based PC, then then probably it's it's big Indian. <sighs> I'm not talking about uh, IEEE 754 standard. This is what I actually really meant. And, and, and I talked about and uh, yeah if if that had failed if my query had failed then it would have device would have given me this response means uh, this is uh, device number device ID and this has got this is this is a uh, this is one right so this has got 80 I mean 18 hex huh? 80 hex means 127 I believe in in uh, decimal appended to it that means this is you get 80 is a fixed number I mean every time there is a problem they add 80 to this uh, uh, 127 to to the second byte I mean, if you see this byte is offset by 127 in, in, in decimal and of course 80 in hex you know that there is something wrong and you are not getting data instead you are getting some error response and what is this error response error response is that ah you got error response of 2 and what, what was the error response of 2 if I could recall correctly it was that I was driver was asking for bad memory location so yeah that's what it's trying to say that yeah hey I am device 01 reporting you, you were messed up your driver was messed up with uh, function code 01 and he, it was trying to ask a memory location that doesn't exist at all and they'll put all these bytes while 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 the master the PLC is sending these bytes to the SCARA HMI or your laptop it'll assemble all these bytes and do CRC 16 over it and this is this is the higher byte B0 is the higher byte and 53 is the lower byte so once you get it you do the CRC check and to confirm whether 
there was any data corruption while corruption